Hello and welcome to JJ Automations. I'm your friend Janis. In this video, we will discuss about how can we use Cypress.json files to configure the base URL and the user details for the login. Let's begin. As we know, the Cypress.json file by default it's empty. Now to define the base URL. Over here, again we are not getting intelligence from the Cypress. For that, we can include the schema for that and save it. See, now we have intelligence that are to be supported by the Cypress. First, we'll show the base URL. This would be the, our application URLs, which is localhost 4100. We are also going to discuss about the email name and password for the applications. And this would be a part of the environment variables. So we define the env. Under this, we would be defining an object name as email. That would be test at the rate test.com. And the password would be test. Now to use these Cypress JSON files in our spec files, let's create one more spec file to use this environment variables and this base URL create a new file login with JSON file spec.js let's start writing describe login with cypress json go back to login.spec files and copy this test case Now remove this only, remove this too as well. Now in place of visit, we just need to pass now the slash. Automatically it will take as a base URL what we have configured in the Cypress.json file. Click on this please. and over here. Over here we need to use our environment variable which is the email. How you can use it? You can use the Cypress dot env and inside this we need to pass the name of the environment which is we have given email okay similarly for the password we can use cypress.env value should be the password and then we can click on the submit buttons and verify the URL. Just save it. Open the Cypress GUI with the command ntx cypress open. We have a new spec file. Login with JSON spec files. Just click on that and see whether it's working fine or not. See, it's working fine. That's great. You can also see inside the Cypress GUI where we have a tab name as a settings. Just click on that. In a configuration, just click on that. We can see the highlighted things we have modified. So base URL we have modified. We have the environment variables with the email and password. And there are many more. All of these variables you can modify in the Cypress or JSON files. Otherwise, it will take as a default value. That's it for today. In the next video, we will see how to create a custom command for the login. Thank you.